Hey, I'm David Silver from the Cisco Intercept team, and today I'll be going through an overview of using the VMware vSphere client plugin for Intercept, also known as the vCenter plugin for Intercept. We'll start with a look at Intercept at claiming vCenter. So, from the Intercept system targets menu, I can claim a new target and select the hypervisor and claim that vCenter instance. I'll want to choose an Intercept Assist in the account that's configured and has access to vCenter. Then I'll enter my vCenter hostname or IP address, username and password. And down at the bottom of the screen, I have a checkbox to enable the Cisco Intersight plugin for vSphere. When I claim that after a minute, I should see that vCenter uh, go to claimed and connected. And at this point, I'm ready to go and use the VMware vSphere client plugin. Now I'll take a look at the Intersight plugin within vSphere. So I'll log in to my vSphere instance. And there I should see under plugins um, from the shortcuts menu the Cisco Intersight plugin. If the UI for the plugin doesn't uh, load, if it's blank, then there may be an issue with certificates. In this case, I'm using a self-signed certificate on Intersight Assist. Intersight Assist is where the UI is actually rendered. So I'll need to access my assist and accept that self-signed certificate. Um, once I do that, I just need that browser to enable access to Intersight Assist. And then I should see the Cisco Intersight plugin load. Once the plugin is visible in vSphere, I can select it and then I can see my Intersight Managed Domains and my standalone servers. Um, I'll take a look first at my, you know, my Intersight Managed uh, UCS domains. I've got just one server here, but I can also see the chassis that are in the account, the Fabric Interconnects, and I can go drill down and look at information, including any alarms coming in from Intersight for any of those connected devices. I can also go back and look at standalone servers there's one server here, but I can look at detailed inventory for that server and do some basic management from within vSphere. So next I'll take a look at configuring Proactive HA with the plugin. So if I go back again to the plugin's main page, I've got a link there for Proactive HA registration. When I click that, I can take a look at the alarms that are currently configured. Scroll down. Um, I can also here uh, unregister the plugin if I need to go in and add additional alarms. I'll leave this registered for now with the default alarm set up. And then back in the main vSphere client, um, if I click on one of my clusters and go to the proactive HA edit menu, uh, I can enable proactive HA. This was disabled on this cluster by default. And if I click providers, I can go in and select that Cisco Intersight provider and I'll need to click that status to enabled. And at that point, I'll have proactive HA switch over to automated and proactive HA is now active on this cluster in the Intersight alarms uh, configured to trigger Pro proactive HA will now trigger that on that cluster. So a quick overview there of the plugin. A lot more details on configuring it, including the certificate management needed, how to enable, disable, and configure Proactive HA available on intersite.com slash help. Thank you.